हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ गौतम सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू स्टोर ए ऑब्जेक्ट इन लोकल स्टोरेज इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो लेट क्रिएट ऑब्जेक्ट हेयर लेट कॉल कॉल द ऑब्जेक्ट एज माय ऑब्जेक्ट इनसाइड दिस आई विल बी हैविंग टू प्रॉपर्टीज नेम एंड एज एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट हाउ टू स्टोर वैल्यूज इन लोकल स्टोरेज सो बेसिकली लोकल स्टोरेज only accepts string values so object it doesn't support so if i just try to set here local storage dot set item and pass this object my object and if i console log local storage dot get item that is object and also i need to pass a key here so let's let's suppose i give the key as a, also my object and followed by the value that i want to pass so here in this case it is my object so you can see that it is showing to me that it is null sorry i need to pass here my object the key value so here you will see that it will be uh, just be passing this object object value because it only accepts string values it doesn't accept the object so now it will not display the value that is name and age so now in order to store this object into local storage first of all we need to serialize the object into string so how we can do that we can just create a new variable that is uh, serialize object and we can just use a json dot stringify method so this will convert the object into a string so i will pass my object that is my object so now if i set again local storage set item i stored this serialize object and now let me just give also the key so let me just key give this key as serialize object and now if i console log local storage dot set item or get item sorry get item and pass this key that is serialize sorry let me just pass the key that i have given here serialize object so now you will see that it is returning the string version of uh, the object you can see that in the curly brackets name john h so if i just write another property here country so you will see another entry which is inserted so this is the string version of the object you can see that in the double quotes the uh, key and the value so this is how we can just store objects in local storage in javascript so if i refresh the page this object will be persistent this value will be storing when we refresh the page also so now if in order to convert the this string object into javascript object we can just write create a variable that is original object so we can now use the json dot parse method and inside this we can just pass our object here so which is local storage dot get item this is our serialize object so now if i console log original object so now you will see that the original object is there so we have successfully deserialize the serialize object and convert it back to the original javascript object that was there early on so these two functions are used first is the json dot stringify in order to convert the javascript objects into actual strings and this is the second function that is json dot parse in order to convert the javascript string object into the original object which is there this one